Today I'm going to share the controversial things my husband and I did at our wedding as well as the controversial things that we do in our marriage. I'm going to be doing this while I get ready for the day. We have thunder with us and I have all of my notes pulled up right here. First, let's talk about pre-wedding. So my husband and I met on Tinder, which I feel like is abnormal, and we were both looking for a relationship. So that worked out well because a lot of people on Tinder are not looking for a relationship. So yeah, we met on Tinder and then we moved in together after one month, which I feel like is also very not normal. Um, reasoning for that is basically I had to move out of my parents' house just because I was making too much money, that their household income was too high, so I had to move out anyway. My husband had just gotten his own place, so it worked out well. So we moved in together a month after meeting. We got engaged after six months of dating, so we started dating in June of 2021, and we got engaged in December of 2021, and then we got married another eight months after that. So our engagement was only eight months long, which I feel like a lot of people do like enjoy that engagement phase longer, but we were just so excited to get married that we were ready that summer. So that is like pre-wedding. I guess Sunny is joining us here too. So now let's move on to the wedding. So my husband and I met when we were 18 and 19. And then we had our wedding when we were 19 and 20, which I feel like that is already controversial, but we we're ready. I feel like a lot of people, <laughs> guys at that age are not ready to get married, but we were. So for our wedding, we sent out invites and on the invites, we had this QR code that people could scan and it took them to our wedding website, which I feel like that's becoming a bit more popular now, but I feel like when we did it, it wasn't very known. People were like, what is this? But so we did that. And then going along with that, we also have people RSVP on the website rather than having to do the traditional fill this out and mail it back to us, which I feel like was a lot easier for them and for us. My wedding dress was from Lulu's. It's just this website. I think they have more than just wedding dresses, but because I went wedding dress shopping a little bit at like little boutiques because I was not wanting to spend a bunch of money on my wedding dress and I didn't have much luck. So I was like, we're going to buy online. I think I ended up ordering a couple and returned a couple, but I kept one from Lulu's. I think it was a hundred or like 109. So inexpensive. It was so cute. I got so many compliments on it. It was so comfy. It was very simple, which is what I wanted. And my husband and the groomsmen basically just wore jeans and a basic button up. He wore like this vest thing. It was all from Amazon. So we got stuff that was inexpensive and that the guys could re-wear because we didn't want to spend a bunch of money to wear like one outfit one time. And then for my bridesmaids, I think their dresses were from Azazi and I wish the pictures. I think those were more, I think those were a little more expensive than my wedding dress actually, funny enough. But yeah, we got pretty simple stuff. I am sure they both have those dresses and they maybe can wear them for something else too. When we found out we were getting married and we were trying to figure out the venue, because I feel like that's very important, um, uh, wow, places are expensive, especially like if you have like this building that they rent out for stuff and you look at all the prices, they're all pretty decent. And then it says for a wedding and it's like a thousand plus more. And I'm like, just for a wedding? Like we wanted a small, pretty basic wedding. But my parents own a thrift store and they had someone come in. I guess this lady's daughter got married at the shooting range in town and I was like, I'm not having my wedding at a shooting range. But then we kept looking at prices of other stuff and we're like, this is all crazy. The shooting range would be $300 and compared to everything else, I was like, that is insane. Let's at least look at it. We look at it and we saw potential. Um, my mom sent me pictures that the girl's mom had taken from the wedding and it looked decent with it all decorated and I was like, okay. So it was $300 and we got it like multiple days before the wedding, multiple days after the wedding for cleanup and so we didn't feel stressed, stressed at all with setting up and taking down, which was super nice and it was $300. I will show some pictures too because when I heard shooting range, I was like, what? But if you see the pictures, like you can't really tell. Because basically it's just this like big building and then outside is a bunch of greenery. So if you are having a wedding on a budget, maybe look at buildings that don't even really advertise that they rent them out because I didn't see anything even advertised to rent it out, but I don't know. We did a first look and a first prayer. I feel like first looks are pretty common, but obviously 
not everyone is Christian or has a religion, so we did first prayer. Basically before we like saw each other, we just were on opposite sides of this one like board thing they had outside of the string range and we prayed together and then right after we did our first look. My husband and I both knew we wanted a small ceremony. I feel like I always knew I wanted that. I feel like it's just such an intimate and special moment and I didn't want relatives there that I hadn't seen like ever, like once in my life. So we really only had like my parents, my siblings, his mom, his brother, I think my closest aunt and uncle, and then his grandparents. I think it was like 10 people. I absolutely do not regret that. I know some people were like, um, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's my wedding. I really don't want people there. I know some people are starting to put signs that say like unplugged ceremony, no cell phones. We were totally fine with cell phones. We first of all didn't have a ton of people there, but I feel like I wanted more pictures and videos, so I was like, feel free to take your phones out. And I do not think it was distracting at all. I know some people disagree with that. And that's totally fine. Pretty much all the decor at our wedding ceremony and reception were either thrifted or from a store when they were like super on sale. Like Hobby Lobby had a 50% off wedding items at one point that we got a ton of stuff at. I just did not want to spend hundreds, thousands of dollars on decor that was for one day. We got so many cute things and then we actually resold a decent amount of stuff and made our money back afterwards. We did welcome kids to the reception and then there was one little girl at our ceremony too. I know a lot of people like to have adult weddings, especially like I feel like nowadays people are doing a lot like less traditional stuff. But yeah, I really didn't care. Like if kids were crying, I understand. Like I didn't really care. I know some people do. I did. This one I know is so controversial. We did not have alcohol. I feel like a lot of people love going to weddings because there's alcohol. My husband and I were 19 and 20, so we weren't legally allowed to drink. Plus, we weren't interested in drinking and we're young kids we don't have a ton of money like alcohol is expensive plus we both had people in our family that previously struggled with alcoholism and i don't know just for us it was like so like for sure like that's what we're doing i know a lot of people also were like um don't care like it's just what worked for us and literally no regrets there either we did not have a florist we got our bouquets off of amazon and then like couple random stores that we put together flowers. My mother-in-law put together a bunch of bouquets with stuff she found and then the ones that I held, my bridesmaids held, were from Amazon and we kept them and use them as home decor now. We did not have a bouquet toss or a garter toss. I don't know, we just weren't interested. I didn't want to give away one of my bouquets. I knew I wanted them for home decor. I don't know if that's selfish or not. But, and then the garter toss, I don't know, I just never was interested in doing that in front of a bunch of family. Personally, not my type of thing. <laughs> my dad actually made all of the food at our wedding. We had like big crock pot things and there was like mac and cheese, chicken marinara, bunch of good food and it was so good. So many leftovers that we got to have and gave leftovers to family. I'm forever thankful that he did that because buying food for a bunch of people at a wedding is expensive. We also did not buy any expensive cakes. We bought some sheet cakes from Festival Foods, which I don't know how popular Festival Foods is, but it's just a smaller grocery store. And then they also made like a little, I think two tier cake for my husband and I, so we had our own little cake, which was so cute. They tasted good and they were cheap, so worked for me. We also did not have a DJ. This was one thing we talked about for a while, trying to figure out what we wanted to do. My husband and I both are not dancers. We <laughs> kind of knew like we'd maybe like do a little bit of dancing, but we did not want to do like I know how some people do like the down daughter dance and then the first dance and slow like I don't know you like do all that which I think is so cute and fun but for us we just like I don't know we didn't really know if we wanted to do that like it's a very casual wedding and DJs are expensive and I didn't know if it would be worth how much it was so we opted out of doing that and again no regrets we had a playlist put together we ordered some big speakers off of Amazon Whenever we want to make announcements, we'd have one of the groomsmen um, that was willing to like talk on the mic do that. So that worked out good for us. The last thing that was like for the wedding is we, again, very casual. So we had board games, yard games. Like we had a board game table. We put out some yard games. We had a mini photo booth we put together with somewhere to, like this thing to set up your phone on and then a bunch of props. And everything was just really casual. There was... 
since it was a shooting range, they had like animals on the wall, which we, they took down all of them, except there was one they couldn't, and it was a bear. So we literally put a veil on this bear. Like, again, just a super casual, fun wedding. I would not do anything different. Obviously, part of the reason some of that stuff was how it was is because of money. Oh my gosh. But even if we had more, oh my gosh. Even if we had more money, like, I would not change a single thing. It was so perfect for us and literally the best day ever. Let's talk a little bit about controversial things that we do in our marriage, in our relationship. So we joined our bank accounts um, before we were married, which I feel like is not normal. We did it after we were engaged when we knew we were gonna be together forever and that's just what worked for us. So we started sharing money and everything went into the same spot six months, of knowing, six months after knowing each other. It is so hard to do my mascara with this, like I can't. But yeah, in general, we've always shared money since then. Oh, okay. So we got engaged, joined bank accounts, and then forever since then we've shared money. Like it doesn't matter who makes more or what, like it all is in the same spot and we both use it. We never really discuss like little things, like if I need something, like I'm gonna buy it. Or if I want something little that's not that much, I'm gonna buy it. Like I make money, like I can get what I want. But we do discuss bigger things. Like if I want did a new iPad, like I definitely would talk about that beforehand. Or like kinda recently, my husband got a new computer and we talked about that first because computers are expensive. But usually we're fine with it because we make decent money and we both work hard and I feel like we should be able to get what we want. We know each other's passwords for literally everything. Our phones, our websites that we use, our apps we use, social media. You name it, like, we know each other's passwords. We don't have, like, opposite gender friends that are, like, super close. I feel like some people be like, oh, I am married to this girl, but I have this girl best friend that's not her. Like, we're each other's best friends. Obviously, we don't, like, not be friends with other people, if you know what I mean. But some people, I feel like, are super close with other people, and we just, like, aren't. Like, we're each other's best friends. And after, like, getting married and, like, engaged, whatever, we, like, joined friends. Like, I don't know, like, his friends became my friends. Like, we have friends together instead of being like oh those are your friends like all of our friends are each other's friends now we are both like not interested in hanging with the opposite gender alone which is something we kind of discussed as well like i'm not gonna go hang out with another guy like i don't know some people do that and that's just so weird to me like you do you i could not for like gender roles or gender whatever we do um i do more of the housework so i cook clean do the dishes we both cook um neither of us really love cooking he's better at it but we take turns cooking and then my husband deals with like the bigger projects like when we're remodeling the house he did all the flooring downstairs he pretty much did everything while i handed him stuff i painted but he was like putting up doors and all the hard work things and then he also takes care of all the money so paying the bills um investing he does all the smart person stuff because I would not be able to. Super thankful for that. Once we have kids, he is going to be the main provider. I feel like right now we make pretty similar, but once I we have kids, I'm going to be staying home for the most part, maybe working once in a while, and he's going to be providing most of the money, and I'm going to be doing more of taking care of the kids, and we're both totally okay with that. That's just what we want to do. We are Christian, so God does play a part in our relationship. We pray together. Which I feel like I don't know how many couples do that, but like we'll pray together before bed or whatever. And like when we're having problems, like we're gonna talk to God about it, like pray together about it. Yeah, we share religion, um, beliefs, and political beliefs. I saw this video where like this girl was going to go vote because it's like voting time, yeah. And she's like going to go vote to cancel out my husband's vote. And I was like, I cannot imagine not being on the same stance with that. Like, again, I'm not like judging anyone who's different than what I am, but like personally, like. I don't know how you do that. Like, if you don't agree on those huge topics, like, can you- I don't know. I don't know. Again, we don't drink, and then we also don't smoke or vape or any of that. I feel like that's become so common, especially in, like, our generation, but we've both just not been interested. Again, we have people in our family that have been um, addicted to that kind of stuff, and we're never interested in getting into that. We also just do not like the taste of alcohol. We've tried it. So, personally, that's just something we don't in our relationship we don't spend the money on that in our relationship and we're both so happy with that i feel like it's becoming more common in relationships now to still have pretty close friends of the opposite gender that you constantly like snapchat or text because like in my generation in high school like 
you Snapchat like everyone all the time, like guys, girls. And I feel like now when people get married young, it's like, well, like you just cancel, like you just stop talking to everyone, like obviously you still don't have friends. And for us, we don't just like cut everyone off and like stop talking to them. Obviously we're gonna do that if we don't wanna be friends anymore, but like people we still wanna be friends with, we're not just gonna cut off. But also we're not gonna be constantly Snapchatting or texting these girls that are friends, you know what I mean? Cause like obviously text them if they wanna text them, but Snapchat is basically like sending selfies. Like we're not sending selfies to the opposite gender all the time. Like that's just weird to me. And again, I know people do that. I have friends that do that. Could not be me though. And lastly, we do not have any corn in our relationship. I don't know what uh, YouTube allows me to say, but no corn, if you know what I mean. Um, I feel like this is such a big and controversial topic. I feel like sometimes both people in the relationship want to do that, and sometimes one person does. And I don't know how people do that when they're on different stances. Like, I feel like that's such a big topic that Nancy talked about before deciding to get married. And thankfully my husband and I are on the same stance and do not think that is okay. So we do not do that. I just thought of one more thing. So with gifting gifts, we both love gifting gifts. We like receiving gifts. But with how my husband and I both are, we tend to buy stuff we want when we want it and we don't like wait for like to give the other person the opportunity to get it for us for her birthday or Christmas, whatever. So for birthdays, we'll usually do like small little things and then we mainly just like spend the day together and do activities instead of like doing a bunch of gifts. And then for Christmas, the first year we went all out and I think we got each other like 20 gifts each. Like it was crazy, like crazy. <laughs> And then um, for the past two Christmases, we'll get all cozy, put on like some Christmas music or Christmas movie, pull out our laptops, and we will Black Friday shop together. It is literally so fun. I look forward to doing it every year now. And we'll buy stuff for our house or like just stuff we've been wanting and we discuss things. And it's just so much fun. It's like going shopping because I love shopping, but also like I don't have to go out and I'm just like all cozy and like we have hot cocoa. It is like so fun and it's like my favorite thing to do ever. But yeah, instead of like going all out and getting Taylor gifts now for Christmas, we just shop together. And then once the packages start coming in, we sometimes will wait and open them on Christmas because then we'll kind of forget and then we just open them together. Or if we're patient, we'll just open it um, <laughs> before Christmas. But yeah, I don't know. That's just something fun we do and I feel like it's a lot different than other relationships. Anyways, I think that's going to conclude today's video. I really like doing this little sit down, get ready while I chat with you guys about topics. I don't know. So maybe I'll do more of this type of video. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments or like this video so I know to do more. And again, as always, thanks so much for watching. You literally have no idea how much it means to me when you guys watch these videos all the way through. I hope you guys have a great day or night and I'll see you next time.